My name is Josiah Kopani, and uh, I am a full-time artist. He'll be painting a piece, he'll switch and start painting something else, he'll start painting on the floor, or he'll just take a five minute break and play his trumpet and then get back to painting. I started noticing a similarity to the music I was listening to and the uh, and the colors I was using on the canvas. Josiah will switch between, you know, old school rap to jazz to David Bowie to 50s bebop. And so you just you pick the pairings of the notes that sound really good together. The three notes on the scale from like C to C and then that's an arpeggio. I started thinking about that with the painting because that's the exact same thing that I was doing in the painting. It was uh, picking the pairing of the colors that look really good together and, and that was my arpeggio for, for, the, uh, for the color palette. Very simple with the color, like five colors. Seven colors is ideal. And then just blocks of color. But then go in with really fine-tuned detail, like a really fine brush. Make like the most realistic scene you can, and then like, who cares, don't even clean it up. The gigantic painting, it was a eight foot by four foot piece. Yeah, I, I've never painted anything that big before. I just thought, I'm going to make a masterpiece. I know I'm gonna do the best work of my life right now. I've always encouraged Josiah to do more outreach, get out there and network more and always be at the space because you never know who's gonna walk in the door. I love this. Yeah, that one's great. Lost memories. Sold. Sold. Yeah? Yeah, sold. Oh, wow. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness! Yeah, oh, hey, I'm so I love, happy I feel like I'm drawing back to it and then I saw the two birds, I was like, that's it. I know that word. <laughs> so today's very the day. Cool. Today's the day I owe my first piece. Very, very Many cool. more to follow, I think. Oh. I went, was going to get coffee and I, for some random reason, I looked to my left <laughs> and I recognized the artwork. So, and I'd wanted my own piece and uh, so I figured I'd go look and come and say hi and found my first piece. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm we, very happy. Like we've gotten to meet a lot of artists and people in the community, uh, both art, fashion, music, um, got to meet a lot of these people together and we've become a bit of a pair. So. The Winnipeg Free Press came by and that was I think my very first time being in the Winnipeg Free Press for my art. We got into the Winnipeg Free Press twice actually. It was actually after the news interview because we both opened up about ourselves. Because uh, clothing, I learned that day that making clothing and designing clothing is just as much as a artistic expression as painting is. It's just an outlet that I've never explored before and it's an outlet that he's gone all in. We're both like pretty giddy about having this shop. <laughs> How's it going? There is mention in the in the studio that there was uh, going to be a, a big show where every artist could have their doors open and sell your art potentially. And uh, I got so excited about that. What's your first one? Uh, I don't know. I really like these two. Yeah. So did you go to school or anything? You want them to appreciate it for the same reasons that you poured your heart into it. It's like, I poured my heart into this thing, and I want them to like see that part of it, because that was where the sacrifice was. That's where you really devoted time and energy into making just right and you want somebody to like buy it for that reason and when they buy it for some completely different reason you're like okay <laughs> I'm glad you like it <laughs> in your own way which should be just as appreciated I feel but it's just something that you as, a, as the creator don't understand but it, it gives it new life and new meaning which is which is uh, 
an amazing thing about art that it can it can have that because every single person can have a different reaction a different way that they see it as beautiful